And we're right now seeing the very same thing that Jesus said would take place. His own word spoken as it was in the days of Lot. So will it be at the coming of the Son of Man. Look how everything's, uh, everything's being perverted. The waters, the streams, everything's contaminated, the diseases, viruses that the doctors know nothing about. We're at the end time. Flee to the rock. Flee to Christ. Get into him quickly, church. There's no church, no denomination, no president, no king, no pope, no bishop, no minister. No, nothing can give you safety but Jesus Christ. He's the only place that can give you safety. Look what he did for his promised land people there. To be sure that they would not be mixed up in some kind of an ism. What did he do? He sent a prophet to them, Moses, with a message identifying God's word. And to identify Moses, he sent a pillar of fire that hung over it. Amen. Then to give him the perfect assurance, he's required a token. Hey man, there's a messenger, the message and the vindication and the token, the perfect assurance that they have nothing to worry about. No oh, matter how many plagues strike, what everybody else says, they are sealed away. <laughs> The reason the elected won't be deceived, you know why? Is because they are the word. But there must have been some tape boys slipped in somewhere. <laughs> For the predestinated seed. <laughs> they slipped over to her house and played some tapes. She made her, her own house a church to receive the message. They still got them, you know. The message got to the predestinated seed anyhow. We don't know how it got there, but it got there. So that the just will not perish with the unjust. God's seen to that today. Yeah. Some way it slips in. We don't know how, though they won't sponsor it. But there's some seed out there that's predestinated. Anyone knows anything about the Bible knows that that harlot was predestinated. Yeah, yeah. Sure was. She did. The Bible said she perished not with them who believed not. That's right. But she believed the message of the hour. 